Participation on agenda did not. <coughs> Mouthful chickadee drive. I just wanted to comment on your pension presentation for earlier this evening, uh, if I for a moment or two. I can think two purposes for government that individual rights, and the second one is protecting government itself. Now, government is a pretty good gig, is it not? I mean, it's got a monopoly on force, police, and jails. Government's the only one that gets to do it. Monopoly on taxes, monopoly on legislation pays itself a hell of a lot better than what, what the private sector can pay itself. <coughs> it sure has got a lot better uh, pensions, does it not? Now, is that not a good summary? Is that maybe not where we are right now in this whole situation? Is this just not government protecting itself? Right now, about two-thirds of the payments you're paying into your pensions are going towards the unfunded liability. And then what is that unfunded liability except unsustainable promises that have been made to people? That's all it is. That's all that unfunded liability is. And right now you guys have no idea even what your unfunded liability is. In the general plan, the actuary disclosed that if he brought his interest rate, his assumed rate back from 7.5% to 6, that unfunded liability jumped from 5 million to 9.6 million a 92% increase, for all intents and purposes 100%, it doubles, it goes from 5 million to 10 million just by dropping that assumed interest rate from 7.5 to 6. If you, and that's, that's the poor plan, that's the plan with a 2 multiplier, that's the plan with no COLA. If you did the same exercise in the higher plans, the 8.5% back to 6, or the 8 back to 6, where you've got the 3 multiplier and COLA's kicking in, what do you think that does to the unfunded liability? You, you guys don't want to know that at this point, do you, quite honestly? And even 6%, you've said it, you, you're not going to meet 6% ever again, Mayor, is, uh, is probably the truth of this situation. So the first thing I talked about was, uh, was uh, the, the individual rights. What do the people, what, what are they owed in this deal? We all know what the unions are owed, but what are the people owed? What do you owe the people, Mayor? The people that elected you, the people that put their confidence and trust in you. What do you owe the people? I think that's the way you've got to be uh, thinking and, and, and looking at this. Uh, you're being told you've got no options right now. You're in contracts. You can't get out of them. I don't like that advice, Mayor. I don't like it for two reasons. The first thing is the people that are giving you that advice have a vested interest in the status quo. They're benefiting by it. And the second reason is our constitutional form of government is not a straitjacket and is sure as heck not a suicide pact. We do have options, Mayor. If you're not getting them right now, you need to look to your left and look to your right and say, see ya. You need to find people that will give you choices and options at this point in time, and then you have a choice. You can call another pity party, and you can have everybody on stage there with you join in the pity party, or you can lead. You can actually get out in front. You're probably the only person in Port Orange that has enough political capital to take this issue on and try and resolve it. Now, Mayor, like any capital, you're not going to take it with you. You're going to leave this world the same way you came into it. And what better can you spend your capital on right now than trying to resolve, trying to straighten out this pension uh, mess that you've got? Because if you try and pay this out, uh, you're going to bankrupt this city. Earlier I said, what do these numbers grow to? I would suspect they probably go to the other side of $100 million is what they grow to with the higher price plans. And uh, right now there's more you don't know about these plans than what you do, and that's shameful. All these years into it, and you really don't know where you, where you stand even with these plans. That's horrible. Mayor, as always, thank you very much for letting me uh, talk for a moment or two. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no, just not to comment, but I'm, the information we've provided, we have got to address the issues. I think we understand that. And you can, you can gloss over the numbers, it doesn't really matter, but it's fact. Mr. Mayor, I yes. object to his comment that you are not getting sound legal mm -hmm. advice. I, no, he didn't say that. He said advice, period. But that's his opinion. Uh, we, and, he and I discussed that, but... Yes. Okay. That's not what he said, so... All right. Uh, consent agenda? Yes. 